What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, DR2727. Shout out to Transformers Collectors, one to a scale collectors, whatever you collect, shout out to you. And this week's 2MP and not the MP is Fans Toys Tesla 1.0, their version of Perceptor. And I forgot who asked for this guy, but shout out to you. Blame it on my head, not my heart. So again, thank you for requesting him. And one, because Perceptor is my favorite character. Two, I haven't messed with this figure in a while, so it gave me a good time to kind of get reacquainted with him. And as always, we're going to start about what I don't like about the figure and what I do like about the figure. What I don't like about the figure, I have only one major complaint about this figure, and it's the plastic quality. And for if you guys have this figure and have, you know, newer fans towards figures, you could just, you know what the difference is. But for everybody who doesn't, like, one thing that fans towards gets a lot of, that goes under the radar with fans towards is they get all the praise for the die cast, the paint, kind of the sculpt thing. But one of the things that is underrated with them is the, the plastic quality they use. They always use a high quality plastic when they make their toys. And if you were if we were using the A B C D F kind of school rating system, they always had a A plus plastic that they used. And this one feels like a B minus plastic. So it still was is better than the competition even for that time. And even a lot of cases nowadays, but it isn't that fans toys plastic. It isn't that how do I say it? Fans toys plastics are normally Heavy duty, reliable. They feel quality and they're refined. This one doesn't. This one doesn't feel refined. This feels like a little more brittle, a little less processed, not as like top shelf as they normally provide. And if you have fans towards products, you can tell the difference between this quality of plastic and the normal fans towards quality of plastic. And that's the main thing because it just when you touch it, it just feels like. It just doesn't feel right, right meaning it does, just doesn't feel like fans to us. So that's my main, main, main problem with it. I have a bunch of nitpicks, well, not a bunch. I have nitpicks with it. So one, this isn't a nitpick of mine, but the community, I know the community didn't like the face. The face is fine with me. And, you know, I I have no problem with it, but I know the community didn't like it. And I know that the community is, oh, it doesn't look tune, 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 tune. I don't necessarily care about the tune look. I'm more mature what would it look like in a real world type collector? And I know they're doing a 2.0 version, which I plan on getting to because Perceptor is my favorite character and I can put them in multiple places. I know they have a 2.0 version that looks more tuned, but I it wasn't needed to me. It wasn't like I was sitting there saying, oh, I need a new version of Perceptor because he doesn't look tuned. He doesn't look right. Even though I know some people felt like that. So that's that's kind of one of the nitpicks that people have that I don't have. Another kind so kind of to my nitpicks, um, this is a general from a generation of fans towards them fully paint figures. They painted what they did with the paint was they gave you a whole bunch of accents. So if you look here, like the thigh has this blue kind of accent right here, accent pieces here. If you look here, blue accent. And I they did this a long time ago. They don't do this as much. Now I used to love when they painted the inside of a figure. I think that's such a clever, slick way. You know, to sneak in and paint and make it look a little more premium, a little more high end. Um, and they did that back then. They don't do this much now. If you look up here, those type of things. So they did the paint accents, but they didn't fully paint the figure. So I think that it doesn't look bad when you stand it next to kind of the fully painted figures, i.e. Quiet is Sovereign, you know, um, their later releases. But it just doesn't look fans towards. Like when you think of fans towards, this thing doesn't have some of those things. And... Another thing, another nitpick that I have, and I, before I get to that, this this makes me realize how much I appreciate fully painted figures, whether it's fans toys, X trans by unique toys, DX9, Kang toys, who I really like. It it makes me fully appreciate why why they fully paint figures, and it makes me appreciate fully painted figures. So that's another nitpick is that it's not fully painted. Another nitpick of mine is kind of. The fans took the hands like fans toys nowadays all their on um, all their bots have fully articulated hands this one just has the the one hand and it's always in kind of a cuff position like he's holding something and i wish they would have i hope in 2.0 and i wish they would have did this one made it have you know fully articulated hands i also wish that they would have did more accessories. Like, fans, it's trans bots. It's the best of accessories by far. I wish fans toys would have done some things with him. Like, one, giving you a smaller microscope. Two, gave, gave you some, like, maybe some bunts and some beakers or something like that. Like, some science-type stuff. So, you, he could really have a scientific-type look. And I wish they, or 
I wish they would have did the IDW nod like they did with um the quietest. I wish they would have gave you the IDW face with the, with a monocle or a sniper rifle. It would have been cool if they would have paid those homages to him. But those pretty much are my gripes with the figure. I know I talked a long time about the gripes, but way more positives than negatives, right? This is a really great figure. At the time, this figure was like, outside of plastic quality, this figure was like, whoa, it does a lot of things, right? And it still does. Like, those accents are gorgeous. Like, I was just talking about the negative, how it wasn't fully painted, but the same thing about that, the accent pieces I showed earlier, fully counts now. It's just accent pieces everywhere. Here, 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 inside, here, here, on the back they painted, here. So, like, these are some of the things that are just, like, what separated fans to us at the time. So, it wasn't the fully paint, but it was that, the die cast, it still has good die cast. It has good articulation. Like, oh, I forgot one thing to say about the negatives. This is back in the time when you heard the fans to a squeak. So, like, That's just a ratchet. Let me see if I can find one. Like, you see that? That's not a strong ratchet. It's kind of the squeak where it's like a different octave than it should be. And a lot of that is plastic rubbing on plastic. And fans toys used to have a lot of that back in the day. But they very much so improved on it. But back to the things I do like, it's still really well articulated. You get the double jointed arms. You get them dead. You get... As you saw, you get fully articulation for a bot who really doesn't need to be fully articulated. Great great build quality. Like this thing, I bought this thing when it came out. The only thing that's shaking on here is the microscope. Um, so the things that Fan Toys has always done, they still do. Like still got die casts in the feet. This still feels heavier than it looks. And it's, 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 it feels great. It's, and the things that you know Fan Toys for, they do here. And they've always make a quality product. So I think that when we talk fans toys, I think everybody knows that it's going to be which ones aren't MP. And that's probably more of a question we should tackle for another day. But this is an MP. This was a really great figure then, and it still holds up today. So if you're setting this to a figure today, it wouldn't be great, but it would be really good. So this is an MP. I didn't need another Perceptor, but I am getting another Perceptor. Once the 2.0 comes out and this price drops, if you want it, jump on it. Like, if you don't care about tune accuracy, it'll fall right into what your wheelhouse or what you need. MP all the way. Thank you guys for watching.